Hey guys, this is Vanya. And this video is about using custom work types as well as displaying notes on the mobile device in the new warehouse management solution in X2012 R3. So imagine a business case where we have a customer that we sell HDMI cables to and from time to time they require us to ship um, the cables to them packed in a set of special boxes that they've provided for us. And they let us know that um, they need to ship in these special boxes by adding a note to the sales order at the time of order taking, whether it's by phone or through the internet. So let's uh, walk through the scenario in AX. So I've created a sales order here uh, for this customer and you can see that they've requested to send them 20 HDMI cables, 12 uh, inch. Um, and when placing the order, the order taker now also adds a note saying, please pack into special boxes. Um, once that is done, I've already reserved the line. So I'm just going to release it to warehouse because it's ready to be um, picked and uh, shipped. So now I'll just copy the work ID. One thing that you'll note here is that I've added a few custom steps. We'll talk about that um, later on when I show you the work template. So now let's just go into the mobile device and start executing this work. Now, one thing you'll notice is as soon as I plus press OK, I get a, an extra screen on the mobile device, which lists the comments that I have for uh, the shipment that was created for this customer. And as you can see, the picker or the warehouse worker in the, uh, in the warehouse gets the message that this order needs to be picked into these special boxes so he can take them and uh, start packing the goods into them. So I only have one line. Let's just quickly pick it. It's the 20 inches. Um, inches. And now here's my license plate that I'm uh, using. So now I'm, I've picked it and I'm um, putting it into the staging area where I actually going to pack it into these special boxes. And then also I need to print the labels and label each box that, um, that I've uh, used to pack these goods. And you can see that now the next step on my screen is I'm being asked how many boxes did I actually pack this into these special boxes that the customer requested. And I'm saying, okay, I actually packed it into three boxes. Um, Okay, as a result of me specifying that, I now get the printer to spit out the, um, the labels that are necessary. And uh, I'm asked basically to press OK when I'm done putting the labels on the special boxes, which I've done now. And OK, my part of the work is complete. Um, the other warehouse worker is now going to come by this uh, staging area, pick up the goods and uh, load them onto the truck to be shipped away. Now let's take a look at the setup. Or first of all, let's actually just take a quick look at the work again. Uh, so now you can see the work is in process and the first part of the pick with the work class for the sales pick has been completed. Um, the things that are of interest here for us is this line with a custom work type. And you can see that these buttons get enabled for these custom work type. And the one that I wanted to show is uh, work line custom data. Because what happens here is that the user input that we saw on the mobile device is actually got, uh, getting recorded and stored in the system. So we can later look it up. Uh, in this case, that it was three boxes that I packed this into these special boxes. Now, so how did this? How did we make this happen? There's a few things that I need to show you. So the warehouse management parameters has a setting which is called mobile device node type, and this just selects a type of a document attachment that uh, is used when you add a note to a sales order. When the sales order is released to warehouse, 
the notes and uh, all the attachments on the sales order actually copied over to the shipment. And then when we execute work on the mobile device, if the work order, if the shipments related to the work order have notes attached to them and the type of those notes matches the one specified in the warehouse management parameters, these notes will be presented to the warehouse worker on the mobile device screen. That's number one. Now let's take a quick look at the work template. So as you can see, I have two extra custom uh, work type steps in here. The first one is called how many boxes uh, and the other one is confirm packing is done. And both of them use a custom work code, which is set up here. If you let's take them one by one. Uh, so confirm packing is done. All it does is it displays a message on the mobile device. And this is the message that is going to be displayed. And that's what you saw that I just needed to basically confirm when I have when the warehouse worker has completed all the, um, the labeling of the boxes. The other one is more complicated because not only does it ask me a question, um, I have this capture data flag set in there as well. Uh, and this is the, the, the caption of the field that is being displayed, an entry field, an input field that is displayed on the mobile device for me asking how many boxes did I actually pick. And of course, this is customizable, so it could be whatever is necessary in your scenario. But I also have a custom method specified in here. Now, this requires uh, X++ modifications, coding. Uh, so this is something that your partner would need to do. But let's uh, take a look. So the print labels method, uh, is something that needs to be present and there is validation on that field so you won't be able to specify one that doesn't exist is a method with a certain signature present on the class whs work custom data and in my case i'll just remove this breakpoint in my case um, what i want to do is print labels and the number of labels that i want to print is equal to the number of boxes that i um, packed my goods into because I need to, to label each box. And what I'm doing here is simply calling into the same logic as a print step would do on the work template, but then I also invoke an extra step. Of course, this could be written in nicer. I just didn't want to touch more objects than just this uh, uh, one class. So I've just uh, made a very small, simple method, which loops through the labels that I have printed for this work ID and then executes the specific print step of that label as many times as is um, required by the um, by the user. So depending on the number of boxes that you print. Important thing to note here is that the parameter list is the work ID and then just the data that the user uh, put in if uh, that flag uh, for asking for input is set on the custom work type. So this operation, whatever it is, is um, sort of separate from the um, mobile device screen and the, the flow of execution on the mobile device. So this could be printing a report or um, just updating some sort of an entity like uh, updating the load header or updating the work header with some additional information depending on user input. Uh, in my case, it's printing labels. Okay, and then uh, as a result of this setup, I I also have um, set up a very simple document routing um, sequence where for this warehouse for sales orders, I'm going to print at the label layout, which is the standard one that I used in my previous examples about label printing. And this is also the same setup with the Zebra printer that I have. Um, as a result, I get a label printed in this file. Um, now, sadly, in um, the when using a port, so when not using an actual real printer, you would not be able to get all the labels printed once because you can only print one at a time. Um, but if you use an actual printer, you will see the number of labels printed as per um, uh, 
the requirements specified on the mobile device during picking. Of course, there are other ways that you could just directly in the uh, Zebra language specify a parameter for how many labels need to be printed, but this was just to showcase the possibility of using custom methods, and this was the example that I uh, decided to go with. Okay, thanks for watching.